Good morning everyone and welcome to our Middle School Chapel service, streaming live to you in your classrooms. Thank you for joining us this morning. The theme of this morning's chapel service um, is, is related to friendship and being a good friend at all times. We're drawing on some inspiration from the Old Testament and the New Testament in our chapel service this morning. So let's start. The Lord be with you. And also with you. From the Old Testament book of Proverbs, we are told friends always show their love. And what are friends for if not to share trouble? Let us pray. Unless the Lord builds the house, the labor of those who build it is lost. Many, O oh Lord my God, are the ones who have done. When, when we are happy and full of joy and laughter, God welcomes us. When we are weary and need to slow down and rest, God welcomes us. God of welcome, God restores always open. We are glad to meet you here. Teach me your ways, Lord, and may we be in our heart. Instead, I call you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. Today, as we focus on the theme of friendship, I've got some things I want us to think about. Good solid friendships are really important for all of us, within our families and within our school community. The first Bible reading from the Old Testament book of Proverbs gives us some very good advice about friendships. Friends always show their love. What are friends for if not to share trouble? An honest answer is a sign of true friendship. Do not forget your friends. In John's Gospel, Jesus said, Love one another as I have loved you. Jesus is calling his disciples and close followers his friends. We know the relationship started with Jesus as the teacher and the disciples as his pupils. But he has now moved to a new level, to a level of friendship. Jesus goes on to say that the greatest love someone can show is to give their life for them. The disciples didn't know at that stage just what that meant. We know the story. Jesus gave his life for them and for us. And many of the disciples also died for their friend and teacher, Jesus. Sometimes, as a good friend, we might have to say or do something hard, or even dangerous, or even what might seem hurtful, because we love our friends and we care about them. Often 
often what a, good fit, what a good friendship needs is love and care and understanding and encouraging words. This is a story about encouraging words. In a Winnie the Pooh book, there is a scene that is a great illustration of our desire to hear words that are friendly and warm, rather than hard or harsh. One day, Pooh Bear is about to go for a walk in the 100 acre wood. It's about 11.30 in the morning, and Pooh says, it's a fine time to go crawling just before lunch. So Pooh sets out across the stream, stepping on the stones. And when he gets right in the middle of the stream, he sits down on a warm stone and thinks about just where would be the best place to make a call. He says to himself, I think I'll go see Tigger. No, he dismisses that idea. Then he says, ow, ow. No, Al uses big words. Sometimes they're hard to understand words. At last he brightens up. I know, I think I'll go and see Rabbit. I like Rabbit. Rabbit uses encouraging words like, how about lunch? Help yourself, who? Yes, I think I'll go and see Rabbit. Everyone likes to hear encouraging words from their friends. A few other thoughts about friendship. A friend is one to whom we can tell everything and to whom will never betray confidence. A true friend is one who knows all about us and loves us just the same. A young boy wants to find a friend as somebody who sticks to you even after he has found you out. A friend is someone with whom we can be ourselves without fear of being misunderstood. A friend is one who sticks closer than a brother or sister. We all need someone like that in our lives, a true friend.
brings us to the end of our chapel service this morning. Thank you everyone for joining us in your classrooms. Looking forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great day.